Good morning, guys. Today is my full day with Golem. That means that we're starting right now morning with my shake, oatmeal shake, and then we continue with workout. After we go into some place, then we will eat. So and the finish evening. So I will show you exactly full my day, and uh, this is will be every week videos so every week i'll go to some different place to eat some different place to show you some interesting place every week something new so videos will be informative they will be interesting and uh, all you love workouts a lot of food and golem so guys check it out here is my new products weight gainer and protein awesome in one word awesome awesome flavor you know it's so tasty i can uh, drink it all the day i can drink like 20 shakes i don't do it but i can do it because it's so tasty and uh, it contains the best great proteins and all the best ingredients other supplements here i have creatine monohydrate because creatine is a basic uh, supplement and I think it's uh, one of the most uh, proven supplements in bodybuilding because it helps you a lot to build your muscles uh, omega-3 you know and uh, flesh fury it's my pre-workout it's my signature pre-workout and uh, everyone who tried it goes crazy because you know guys uh, in some terms it's like old good jack 3 d if you remember old good not new version but old good jack 3 d this is the same this is the same and even better so you know what i mean what's up guys so today is my hamstring day and uh, this day I do deadlift too, but not usual regular deadlift, but stiff legs deadlift or RDLs. Why RDLs? Because it's so amazing exercise for hamstrings and uh, uh, I also use my back in this exercise. I also feel my back, but the first adv advantage it's uh, about weight you use in RDLs you definitely don't lift big and uh, you concentrate more on movement than on weight you lift so for me ideal option and I do it at the end of my workout so I'm starting here and these machines in this machine it's standing uh, hamstring one leg with plates then I do seated hamstrings uh, normal hamstrings machine and like fourth exercise I do deadlifts steel leg deadlifts or RDLs let's go So guys, in this particular exercise, uh, it's mandatory to, in your negative 
fast, do it slowly. So when you go to higher weight, you can help yourself with some cheating to go up, but then hold it and slowly go down. So negative, every time negative is slow. And uh, this is the main point of this exercise. When you reach the high set, the high top set with the biggest weight, you drop some weight and do two, three more rep, uh, sets, eight to 10 reps, but with strict form. So slow up, slow down, any cheating, but in your top sets, in your uh, biggest weight, you can use your whole body to lift it up, but then hold it and slowly go down. Be careful guys, this exercise, you can tour your hamstring really easy. So choose the weight you can control and uh, don't rush here, really don't rush. So guys, next exercise, uh, hamstrings, seated hamstrings. Here, I will do four, three, four sets for approximately 10 to 12 reps with good stretch, with good contraction. So really controlled movement. So guys, my next exercise, RDLs. Uh, and one more, then I will do line uh, hamstrings. So totally today, four exercises for hamstrings. It's more than enough for me. If you do really with a good weight, with good intensity, it's four exercises totally enough for, to develop your hamstrings. Guys, you can ask me why I'm starting, why I'm not starting with deadlifts, like first exercise, why I'm doing RDLs, like the last exercise, or like the third exercise in my workout. The answer is really easy because uh, if I do, first of all, some isolation exercises on my hamstrings, then here I need lower weight to fill them perfectly. 
so I don't need to rush myself to put here six, seven plates to fill it. So less possibility of injuries, more control, more contraction, more strength, and uh, as a result, more muscular development. Remember guys, it's not about how much you lift, it's about how you lift. And the uh, mind-muscle connection, it's the king, it's the main thing you need to know, it's the main thing you need to remember about bodybuilding. If you just move weight from A to B, from point A to, to point B, it's nothing about your muscle building. You need to know what you do the reason why you do this and uh, the purpose of doing this. As you see, so guys, as you see, it's not heavy weight for me. It's weight which I can use to maximal concentration, to make maximal concentration of movement and uh, to fill my hamstrings the best way. It's not about how much I lift here, because someone in comments said it's, it's too light for you, you need to lift more. No, guys, in this particular exercise, I don't lift, I don't need to lift more. I need to lift this weight I can control. I can control and I can concentrate on my target muscle. This is the point. So, guys. Don't mix powerlifting and bodybuilding. In powerlifting, your goal is to move weight from point A to point B. That's all. Using all your strength, all your power. The way you move it, it's on you. It's not important. You just need to lift this weight, to move this weight. In bodybuilding, you need to stimulate your muscles to grow. How much you lift, the way you lift, it's how much you lift, it's not important. It's, yes, you need to lift the big way too, but how you lift is the main point one. So guys, my next exercise is standing hamstrings here on this machine. And uh, you can say it is, this is the same as you did in the beginning. No, guys, it's different angle, different feeling. And here I need really two plates maybe, like really easy weight. And I feel so much pump on my hamstrings. I do it usually in the end of the, my workout and uh, the last exercise I will do lying hamstrings, normal hamstrings as you see in your gyms. So here, three sets.
So this was the last exercise, line hamstrings. And uh, totally today I had five exercises for my hamstrings. One exercise more than I expected, but I feel my hamstrings burning. They completely destroyed. And this is, this is really, really awesome. So guys, for today's workout, it's enough. I'm going to make my post-workout shake and uh, to eat some food to fill my 10,000 plus calories daily. So guys, after workout, I need to find some really good spot for my food, for my after workout meal. And for today, this spot is waterfront market. What is this? It's huge market in Dubai, like uh, seafood, meat, vegetables, fruits, huge area, covered area, and uh, some local farmers, they sell here their products. So also they have here some fancy restaurants, some small family restaurants around, and uh, they cook here seafood, really awesome and fresh seafood. So let's go to one of these restaurants and then I need to buy something to cook my signature food at home but I will not tell you what is this, you will see. So let's go eat. So guys, check it out. It's seafood soup. It's for 12 bucks. And uh, I don't know, it's like gallon of soup or what is that? because I thought it will be like one, this one, but they brought a gallon of soup and uh, I'm just shocked because I thought that in a Thai restaurant they have a huge, uh, from previous video, they have huge tom yam, but no guys, this is huge. This is really gallon of soup for 12 bucks. Let's taste it. So guys, this is my main seafood mixed platter with a coconut milk. So what we have here? Some shrimps, some crab, uh, corn, some mussels, it's really huge. Uh, I don't know if I can do this, but let's, let's check it out and let's taste it. So guys, as you see, I'm all covered with this crap shit. It's just no, no option how to eat it different way. You will be covered from your head to your knees with all this shit. And uh, to be honest, I ate like little bit corn, little bit mussels, like five pieces and five pieces of shrimps. That's all. That's all I ate. And all crabs here, I just cannot do this because it's so hard. I cannot open this. And uh, you know, for this tiny piece of meat, I'm lazy to do this, to be honest. So that's all. That's all. I'm still hungry. That. what I can do. Let's go. So guys, it's Meat Pavilion and as I said you, I need to find some special ingredients to my signature recipe. Let's try to find it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you and me.
Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Okay. One picture. Okay. Good. Okay, thank you. How are you, brother? Good. Hey, hey. Like balls, like testicles. No, 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 no bone, but balls. Like you don't have, don't have. Okay. Oh. Can I have two? I need two. Yeah, two pieces. Two pieces. Oh. Bra. Do you have a bull? This one? This one how? So guys, I just bought beef balls, or it's not beef balls, it's actually lamb balls, and uh, pennies. Hey, 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 hey. I need this one, exactly this one, but I need him alive, yeah? In a satchel, but I need the life. I don't don't kill him, okay? So guys, I just bought fish. It's Vasily, my friend, my new friend fish, and I will rescue him. I will let him in the water. So let's hurry up. Окунь Василий, ты жив еще? Есть! Есть, я его спас! So guys, I saw it. I just rescued this fish and uh, I feel so good because, you know, it's living creature and uh, I just did it. So today I have big plus to my karma and uh, I feel really awesome. It's a good day today. So guys, this is it. This is my secret dish, my secret recipe. Here we have two beef balls, testicles, and this is beef penis. Just check it out. It's huge. It's long. Oh, amazing. I'm so impressed. Okay. And here is four lamp testicles balls. So now I need to boil it. Testicles for 20 minutes and penis for two, three hours. And after I will cut it off and uh, I will fry it with onion. This is the plan. Let's do it. Guys, just new flavor from GSS. Arrived new flavor of protein, strawberry, and it's so good. It's my seven, maybe five, seven protein today. And it's so good, so tasty. I cannot stop. So guys, now we need to boil it in water, in salted water, approximately for 20-30 minutes. And then we can cut it on pieces and fry it. So let's wait.
So guys, after 25 minutes, it's ready. I need to peel it out and then to cut it on pieces. And after, I need to fry it approximately for five minutes, 10 minutes maybe. So balls are done and now let's put this sheet here for two hours. So guys, here the final step of preparation of cooking. Onion mixed with all this stuff, long hours of boiling and after I have only this like really small portion balls with the peonies. I hope it will be tasty and all my struggling will be compensated with the awesome dish. But I'm not sure. I'm really not sure because at least it smells good. So okay. guys, let's taste it. Balls. Beef balls. You know, like nothing special, but it's okay. You know, I don't know exact way of preparation of this, so I'm really sure someone who knows can do it like really awesome dish. But me, I just did it edible. Nothing else. So let's try pinis. Mm. This one is not edible. <laughs> Holy crap. Ow. Okay. So I tried it and uh, the problem that I can't cook it right way. I see this problem. So maybe you know how to cook how to cook it proper way. And you can say me, you can share your receipt in comments below. And guys, for today that's all. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let's stay in touch. Thank you for everything, and see you next time.